Okay, so what we have here is a uh, DV4 uh, board that was brought to us here locally that uh, has a video problem. And as I look underneath here, you can see right here, uh, if you could see what I could see, up underneath here is a copper shim, which probably explains why the video has gone out. What I'll do is I'll take this off right here and um, we'll open this up and see what's going on. But um, most likely that uh, chipset has had an issue with a uh, copper boot, copper shim, uh, whatever you want to call it. So get this off and there it is. That's uh, that's pretty much it right there. As we see, this is an AMD machine also. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, take this off and clean this up and see if we can't get it to uh, turn on after a reboot uh, or reflow and see if that's going to fix it. But um, we'll work from there and see what happens. Okay, so now we have these uh, chipsets cleaned off. And uh, one thing we'll notice is that this system's uh, AMD is saved before. But it's also got the uh, AMD. It's actually an ATI Radeon, but they mark them AMD now uh, for the North Bridge here. But another thing that you'll have to remember is when reflowing on the back is another chipset that you have to get to and yes this does have uh, copper sheeting on it but we'll notice that the thickness in this is quite thick compared to uh, this sheet that's right here it's like paper thin so um, that's something to keep in mind when you're actually uh, doing this that um, You'll need to find both those chipsets, top side and bottom side, to uh, reflow. But uh, we'll just take this and put it on a heater and uh, get started. So as we're reflowing this, a uh, thing that I uh, had to keep in mind, uh, we use these uh, to apply the uh, flux. we got a liquid flux here to the actual uh, BGAs but we do not do that while it's in uh, while it's doing the uh, reflow process like that it's only when you're reballing or you're removing uh, say these little uh, FETs or uh, QFPs or whatever uh, small type packages but uh, this is probably the worst idea, you know, pulling uh, flux out and then applying it directly to it while the heat's going. What's going to happen with that is it's going to cause the uh, solder to form a straight line as the uh, flux is poured through there. So instead of being in ball formation, it's going to go into line formation like this and follow the trail and just clump up underneath the chipset. So that's not a good idea to do that um, for anything like that. But um, keep that in mind while we're actually uh, doing that. And um, we're going to flip this board over and then reflow the other side and then go from there. So now we're just going to uh, finalize reflowing this other side of the board. Uh, pretty standard. We'll just heat it up and let it finish doing what it's doing. And then after that, we'll put it in for uh, burn-in and testing and see what happens and go from there. Okay, we have our DV4 here. Uh, everything's hooked up. So we're going to turn it on. And we're going to see what happens. Um, most likely, we're going to... Uh, end up going into a video screen 
as the boot process starts up there we go so no hard drive and we're going to go into the BIOS let's see if we can't get into that BIOS um, actually what we'll do is we'll restart it to try to get in but we'll try to pull that up so we can get a, a time clock on that Hmm. Nonetheless, we have it starting up. Uh, We'll just get into the bias so they go from there. Um, and we're in. Okay. So we've got a uh, start time 27. And uh, we're just going to let it run and see where it goes from there. Um, pretty straightforward. DB4. We're just going to let it do its thing. And then after that, we'll. Uh, uh, come back in say two or three hours and make sure that the uh, the system's okay okay so uh, our burn-in has ran for two hours now uh, so we're gonna say that this uh, is actually complete what we're gonna do is turn it off and say it's a dumb machine that's yet another one fixed and ready to go